come in here into the kitchen and we have a couple of little seated areas here Ooh. so when we want to just get away from our work have lunch have a snack we can just come over here instead of going to the coffee shop downstairs because then you're tempted to buy stuff there's our little kitchen with a toaster microwave so that's pretty well there's a little it's rainy very rainy but there's a little um roof gardening bit there where when it's mm. more sunny we can just sit out and have a drink and that and there's our fridge and some cupboards over there where we can keep all our stuff so I've got like my porridge and my oat milk and stuff in there this is well that one's empty at the moment that one's like a temporary space that someone's using and this is my space here so it's it looks a bit messy compared to the neatness of all the emptier spaces over here um, unfortunately we've had a lot of people go to bigger and better things we've had someone go to America um, we've had someone move back to London with his other half um, that was Alex CF who drew this and also he wrote a book called Seek the Throat from which we sing um, he's a really 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 cool artist and prop maker and he's in like five emo something bands I don't know so yeah it's me and a couple of other people at the moment um, so this is my space so if we start from this actually if we start from up there so this is just some shelving just got a couple of bits of packaging so there are boxes up there and a couple my bigger projects uh, live up there so the Thor outfit and the firefly dress they live on top of there they're at home at the moment because I was doing photo shoots but I will bring them back and put them up there that is my sign my light box which James made me and it changes behaviors so I might do a little video of all the behaviors and put it at the end of this that's James's sign up there I'll move a bit closer nice and shiny and of course I'll put his stuff his uh, social media down below and then we built this desk here and if I go take you over to this side these posts here we got from the wood recycling project these I think these are just old wood things we found I can't remember if we got them from the wood recycling project as well and then the rest of it is made from pallets which appear and multiply very rapidly in certainly Bristol but in cities in general and it's amazing what you can do with stuff like that so this is my main cutting table it's got a trough here for fabric if I move that you can just see a roll of fabric there that's my uh, mock-up fabric that I do all my mock-ups in if we go around here so this is all the stuff I've got to work on today I've got to finish this this is a UFO that I've got to finish for them the so out of this world hashtag I've also got to alter the pattern for it because I find it's a bit too high so I need to take off the top and that is the free Maxine undies pattern by Evie Lelouve I always want to say Evie Lelouve but it's not it's Evie Lelouve and I'll put that down below as well this is my shelf of things so the very first video I'll put up on my channel is the most technologically advanced mixing bowl in the world which is this these are all my pins gloves we do have heating but 
it gets turned off and then if we have a cold snap like we've been having uh, it can get a little chilly so just gloves to keep my hands warm my uh, pressing hams and then this is my sewing box with my tape measures and sewing um, uh, sewing machine needles couldn't think of the word then uh, more pins and stuff like that so it's easy to grab this is my junk corner here um, we have a bag of empty thread bobbins if anyone knows anything to do with that then let me know I might just give it to our local um, craft scrap center this is stuff I'm working on but maybe not right at this moment in time so this has my mock-up or my wearable twirl for the spend sweater which isn't going very well these are just a box of little bulldog clips which are so useful um, especially in corsetry when you're working with pretty thick cotillon and trying to get pins through it it's just a pain um, I've got an ironing mat here but I really do want an ironing board at some point so, ooh, if I move the chair out of the way, this is stuff. So, that box there is material, and I'll be going through that with you in a video a bit later. That is more material, but that is more upholstery and quilt fabric. That is quilt scraps sorted into colour groups so I can make quilts, because I want to start doing that with all my scraps. That is scraps to be sorted. Um, those there are old pyjama bottoms. The one on top there, those were from the sender and they were my favourite. Favourite ever. Um, but they are so threadbare, they are patched so many times, I thought it, it's time to retire them. The one underneath, uh, they're just too tight. They're from New Look and I like New Look stuff but I always forget I need to go up a size. So the waist is fine, but they are far too tight around the bum. Uh, just uncomfortable to sleep in. That is all my corsetry fabric, so that's all my cotille, lining fabric scraps, um, interfacing, st stuff like that. That's all in that bag there. And then I have a little shelf just there that is kind of my tools shelf. So I've got a hammer and some pliers and some electrical tape just there, and I've got a couple of patterns. That one is the um, Laughing Moon Mercantile Silverado and Door pattern. I'm do that's the thing I'm working on. The other thing I'm working on the Silverado corset, which is going all right, but the fabric frays like horrifically. And if we go over just over here, this is my rollout sewing table. So it's just a little table from IKEA. We've put it on rollers so it can. When I'm done with it at the end of the day, it can just slide under the desk and get out of the way. And then when it's not in use, the sewing machine lives under it. Um, that's my laptop or my notebook. It's very old, very small, very slow. So it's basically just uh, YouTube and Spotify and stuff like that. And if anyone's interested, my machine is a Genoom. Uh, I can't remember the number. Uh, it's a Sewist 525S, and it's it's really, really, really good. I do eventually want an industrial machine, but this works really, really well. Um, before this, I had a cheap one from Tesco, and obviously, whilst I was in university and doing just a couple of things here and there it worked out really well but obviously once I started getting really into it I needed a proper machine so that there is my cutting mat that just lives down there behind it is a bag of fabric that needs to go to the scrap store um, up here are all my patterns that is one of my mannequins that one's Alice and that's mainly my display one because it's squishy I padded it so and I've padded the waist so when it's not compressed it's my natural waist measurement and then it just can compress to uh, display my corsets um, this one this corset here is I think probably my fourth the fourth corset I ever made and I made the 
ribs far too small somehow. I honestly don't know how I did it, so I put in rib ties there. And that just stays here, so if I'm not already wearing a corset and I feel like my back twinge or stuff like that, I can just pop that on and keep my back straight got loads of patterns i've got shirts and blouses i've got my jacket pattern here this is when i covered myself in parcel tape so i could make the pattern for these for these covers and i want to use that to make a waistcoat corset um, and then i've got my small patterns up here my corsets and stuff my shelves up here these are all my books and manuals and things like that. Random bottle of perfume. Random just wires and more electrical gubbins for when I'm doing more electrical and LED projects. Um, coffee beans, cups, stuff like that. <laughs> and then up there, that is switch frames that need to be made. More patterns and paint. That's mainly James's. I don't have paint. That's my iron there. I need to give it a very, very good clean. So if I just move the chair out the way again, and I move Alice, this is my shelf of stuff. Hmm. Again, uh, they're my socks from cycling, and they're slightly damp, so they're hanging to dry. Those are my switch frames which work, and if you are following me on Instagram, then you would have seen them. So you just swing it like that, and then this one you you press, and it lights up. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna do a couple more, and then eventually these are gonna go on the wall. But the that is ties adjustable ties that big grey bag is adjustable ties and it's some of it this is scrap some of it is christmas fair stock so my little decorations my wallets things like that that is my button box and i will be going through that in a, another video because every seamstress needs a little button box this here is my set of drawers and each drawer has a different thing in it so this is my stationary drawer it's got my pencil case my rulers it's also got some laces and some elastic in there so smaller um, stringier things that I want to keep all together and not get tangled up this one is my bone hardware so you've got pliers um, the those there are pre-made bones that's plastic boning that's some new busks and there's a roll of spiral burning it in there. If I just squidge oh, down, I like put, putting stickers on these. This is my eyelet hardware. So my prim eyelet set, um, just normal black five mil eyelets. I've got some silver probably under this one. And then this one, some just some Christmas stock and some bits and bobs in there. And then the last one is zips. These are all zips. I've got a skirt there that's on my Etsy. Um, so that one's that. And then if I bring you up here, this is my other mannequin. This is Sophia. Uh, this is my like sewing mannequin because it's my white foam one so I can put pins in it. Uh, that bow tie is James's. It's just ended up here for some reason. And if we go around here, I'm using this to dry my gloves at the moment. Uh, this is, so this is the dragon corset. So if you've been on my Facebook for um, any amount of time, then you've seen the cor this corset. These are all hands made, they were, cut on the metal guillotine, each individually hammered and then heat coloured with a blowtorch to give it this nice coppery 
purpley blue kind of color so that displays that so if we have open studios or people bring friends around then that is kind of like you know what i do i do have a mirror here it was on the wall we're gonna put um like grating things on the wall so we can actually hang pictures and stuff so hopefully that's going to go back on there once that's done if not try and find a way try and find a way to put it on there so that's it for my actual studio it's i don't know it kind of it seems small and big at the same time i think we've done really well in making sure we use the best of the space as possible especially with like sliding tables and things like that so i hope you enjoyed having a look around my space and keep watching because i will have a video on my button box which every i'm sure every seamstress knows because every seamstress needs a button box and then a go through my stash with me just just for fun because everyone likes looking at fabric so don't forget i'll have all the interesting links in the down bar below if you want to go down and check them out and whilst you're there if you want to like comment and subscribe and do all that good stuff that would be really really helpful and i'll see you guys later bye